up guys? Welcome to another video, a very delayed video. Quick note, yeah, I haven't done a lot of videos over winter, mainly because I don't think my life's that interesting in training, just winter training. It ends up being pretty tame. But now, racing has started, so the videos can start too. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then there is a lot to catch up on. First of all, my new team, Xpeed United, uh, awesome team. Uh, we've got an awesome calendar of races and a, a really cool group of guys. Uh, the new kit here, we've got the Grenada Champs jersey, which I absolutely love from CCN. And uh, yeah, things are looking great. We've got, we've got the bike. I haven't even done a bike reveal on YouTube. Look at this. It's the Scott Foil. It's the Scott Foil 2023. Honestly, it's a dream bike. And you wouldn't believe it. We've got the dream wheels too. I'm on the training wheels now. We've got the Envies, the Foundation 45s at the moment, which are actually, it's almost, uh, it's unfair to call them training wheels because they are a great set of wheels. But then for the racing we have, I genuinely, what I genuinely think is the best in the game. It's the uh, SES 6.7s. I, I think a lot of people would agree that they're the fastest wheels out there. So uh, yeah, super happy to be running them. And we've got the info crank power meter. Anyway, I did, I did, uh, I meant to do a video before the first race of the season, but it's been and gone now. And would you believe it? It was Le Samin. My first race of the season was Le Samin. It's a, uh, it's a UCI 1.1 if you don't know it. I think in some circles referred to as Baby Roubaix. Um, it's got cobbles. On to the cobble sector, we go full gas, eh? Which, uh, Honestly, the TV does not do justice what the cobbles are like. They are absolutely just just brain shattering. But I, I honestly, every cobble section, I was wondering if my bike would come out the other side in one piece. Just because it's just, oh, my jaw still hurts just from chattering along. My uh, my fingers are a bit, a bit achy, but it's all good. It's an amazing experience to uh, get that first race out of the way. Seven World Tour teams, seven Pro Tour teams, so, uh, Obviously, yeah, an inc incredible field. So that was on Tuesday. Today is Thursday, and we have our next race, real quick, coming up on Saturday. This is Kraft Stervanswall, which is a UCI 1.2. So in theory, it should be a little bit easier, but I do know the style of racing for the 1.2s is much more aggressive for the entire race, as opposed to sort of on off, and uh, yeah. Uh, it's very difficult for me to do like a race vlog on the day, because obviously it's quite a stressful, uh, Thing, especially pre-race getting ready and the race nerves and things like that it might be easier as we warm into the season but for now i probably won't do any video on the day especially because it's also pretty cold like at the moment i'm wearing two sets of gloves i'm wearing two jackets under this long sleeve jersey just i wanted to represent the grenade natural colors so i'm basically going to wear this jersey over the top of everything i wear these days so yeah So today's ride actually was four hours, well is four hours with uh, just a couple sets of 30-30s at the start, just trying to get fired up a little bit more coming into the season. I had a late start, a late end to the previous season, so I'm a little bit behind where I have been in previous years, but not to worry, it's uh, it's going to be a long season, so there's no no point trying to rush it, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at for this time of the season anyway, so that's all looking good. I'm lighter, I've got more power, so what more could you ask for? Um, yeah, I'm just cruising around the Belgium lanes. It's a, it's a beautiful day. It's been beautiful here for the last few days. The thing is, it's been freezing, like seriously cold. The race was, I think, two degrees, maybe down to one degree at times. I wore the wetsuit, but I don't know if, if long time viewers will know, I'm a big, big fan of wetsuit and a skin suit. Um, and I bought a new wetsuit just for this occasion on eBay, like super discounted with a little tear. It's all good. Um, it's just, yeah, I think when you can wear a wetsuit, it's just one layer under the skin suit. You're still quite compact and aero compared to if you're wearing like jackets like I am now where it adds quite a lot. So yeah, I think for, for those super, super cold days or if it's raining, obviously, then the wetsuit's good. The only downside is you just end up sweating loads. So by the end of it, it was just, uh, yeah, a bit soggy, which got even colder once I stopped riding. But yeah, that's the, uh, the Belgian lanes today. I've still got like a good couple hours to go. Uh, so only halfway into my ride and then I'm taking my bike to a bike shop because after the cobbles I lost all pressure in my front brake and uh, we'd already bled it like a couple times before so I think it might just need a new hose so 
yeah, new hose at the bike shop later on today. Anyway, I'll give some more updates when I get back to the house. Hopefully, if I remember, because I keep forgetting to do this vlog thing, but I'll, I'll try and remember this time. So it's the next day now, didn't record that much yesterday. So today being the day before the race, I've done my pre-race ride, uh, just down in 90 minutes with a few efforts and uh, just cleaned, cleaned the bike, the beautiful bike. Um, yeah, it's all looking good to go. I've got the envies, I've got the tires, I've got the bike, I've got the chain clean and lubed, it's all, it's all looking good. So tomorrow is a race called Craft Servans Uh It's a 1.2, it's a Dutch 1.2, so it's narrow lanes, probably gonna split split up loads in the crosswinds it's quite uh, windy it's meant to be quite windy tomorrow it is meant to rain and it's like seven degrees feels like three so it might be another race to bring out the wetsuit because uh you know how much i love my neoprene and uh yeah i think i'm probably gonna make uh dinner now just gonna have some pasta and uh yeah pretty much pasta and then uh yeah do the race tomorrow it's probably gonna be the end of the video i'm trying to get back into making videos so i'm not gonna make this too complicated and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you leave down below comments of what you want to see more of next. Die uh, al jaren lang meegaat in dit uh, peloton. Natuurlijk oud uh, wereldkampioen in het veld. Weer een peloton. Ja, en weer een valpartij. Kijk, het is toch weer die auto's. Ja, dit is uh, ook weer voor in het peloton, hè? We hebben het nu al vaker gezien. Uh, een vrachtwagen die op de koers uh, op de op de weg, halp op de weg, weg stond. <middels> Uh, dit is denk ik al de derde oude valpartij door een auto die half in de berm staat. En die bestuurder die weet niet...